So behind me is the San Francisco Bay, this large body of water that extends from the narrow channel beneath the Golden Gate Bridge down to San Jose in the south and in the north, Petaluma. Now the geology, that is the rocks underneath the surface of the earth, tell us that the rocks throughout the bay region here actually formed far offshore, deep underneath the ocean. Those rocks were transported towards the continent of North America as plates moved over geological time. They were added to the continent of North America during the process of subduction or subduction accretion. Subsequently, the development of large strike slip faults through the bay area dissected the bedrock and caused the rocks to move past one another. In places where the rocks collided, they were squeezed and pushed upward toward the surface of the earth. And that's why you can see here that all of the topographically high ground here has been pushed up by those tectonic movements. Subsequently, erosion affected the landscape. And there's one interesting thing about the bay here is that the landscape here actually formed when sea level was much lower, so that the bay was not full of seawater. Around 25,000 years ago, during the last glacial maximum, large ice sheets covered much of the northern hemisphere and the ocean level was much lower and that meant that the shore of North America was far out into the ocean as we see it today, near the Farallon Islands. So in land, what we had at that time was a series of rivers that were carving out valleys. As the ice sheets melted, the water that was trapped in the ice was released back into the ocean basins and it caused the sea level to rise. It flooded the interior so that here, the entire bay here uh, was filled with seawater after around 20,000 years ago.